The quid pro quo, he says. It's very nice to hear the BJP sounding so pious. Uh, quid pro quo, Vinod Mehta, would you respond well, to Siddharth Singh, please? Yes, one second. Arnab, yes, I sir. think the BJP are trying to squeeze this lemon as much as they can and I don't blame them. But I think now that Mr. Manu Singhvi has resigned, he is no longer the spokesperson. He has, in a sense, admitted that he did something wrong. I think we should move on. I think Mr. Singhvi has paid the price for whatever his indiscretions. He has paid the price. And therefore, we should move on. I mean, every party, MP or MLA can get into this kind of situation. This sanctimonious BJP attitude, they have enough of these things going around. But he has resigned. He, he has admitted, in a sense, that it was, his conduct was not right. And we should move on from here. I mean, I, we don't want to get involved. If there is some kind of police case to be uh, looked into, or the blackmail part, that the police can do. But I think Parliament has yeah, many but sir, other but Vinod, things but Mr. Vinod to, uh, Mehta, we can't, we can't then, also then, we, then we can't put blinkers I, on. I think that Mr. Mehta, just to score political points, no, no, but BJP Mr. has been in this situation too. No, but Let's Mr. Mehta, on. Mr. Mehta, you know, you know it, it, there are some countries in which, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the these stories become big, like in Great Britain. There are countries like in France where you have, you know, far more colorful relationships that people, including presidents, have where it is not considered to be much of a news story. But we cannot, with all respect, not report the story because somebody resigns as chairman of such an important no, no. parliament committee. Adab, please do report. Yes. But I'm not saying that we should not report this. I am saying that Manu Singhvi has paid his dues. I think his political life is finished. His family life is finished. So, and I think that he may even resign as, as a Raj, from the Raj Sabha. So, he has paid the price. I mean, what happens in these sort of cases is the politicians do things and they get away with it. Whatever reasons Manu Singhvi has given, they didn't want parliament disturbed. Fact is, he has quit all positions. And I think we should move on from here. What do you want to, what do you want him, what do you want Manu Singhvi to do? Play the tape in parliament? What is it? What do you want here? So that see question, what was happening? So that now question, I suppose, on. is that question, I suppose, is directed yeah, at Siddhartha. One minute, you are getting some rebuts. Arti Jarat is rebutting. Uh, what Arda. do you want, Arti yeah, Jarat? No, no, you What's, know, Arda, yeah. you see, Arti. The, the point is, the point is that I think there's a very serious issue involved here because if the allegations are correct, then he was trading his position as an influential member of the ruling party to, you know, to get somebody a position as important as a high court judge. Now, if that allegation is correct, I mean, I think this is something very serious. I don't think we can just move on from here and say that, well, he's paid the price and he's resigned and so on and so forth. You're looking at the possibility of a high court judge being appointed on, on a completely extraneous basis. And, and, and this I mean, allegation... Don't we, don't we have to look at merit? I, yes. You know, a high court judge is a very Arnab. important person. He handles, he or she handles if really this is important judge, cases. So the charge here is... can be life and death for the... The, the, the charge here is that if this is a quid pro quo, if this is how someone can hope to influence a judicial appointment, and that also somebody as powerful as the chairman of the parliamentary standing committee on law and justice, not the parliamentary standing committee on coal or steel or pensions, but the parliamentary standing committee on law and justice, then the onus, the onus is strongly on the person to make a statement in parliament and face the onslaught. Vinod Sharma. Vinod Sharma. I, I'm not, I can't hear you. First Can of you all, I seriously again? contest the argument that the chairman of the parliamentary standing committee on justice can influence appointment of judges. If we are suggesting this, we are insulting the highest judiciary in this country. This appointment of judges has to have the approval of the highest amongst the judiciary in this country. So if the BJP is suggesting that this is so, I don't accept it. I seriously contest it. A. B. Insofar as statement of Abhishek Manu Singhvi on parliament is, in parliament is concerned, I would welcome that. But may I at the same time remind the BJP that when Mr. El, when Mr. Ram Jaitmanani ah. resigned as law minister, he wanted to make a statement explaining as to why he quit.
Yes. He was not allowed to make a statement in the Raj Sabha. So I think politicians must, must preach only what they practice. And I don't think any politician how, is practicing How does that justify anything? Of what, what he's preaching. No, no, how does that or justify anything? anything? Ma'am, ma'am. Be it the Congress? Uh, or no, no, so no, no. The, this, this, this is a... This, I don't this, think anybody... This, this theory... I don't think anybody in politics today can really put himself on a pedestal... Certainly not. Others. Certainly not. But to say, Vinod Sharma, that we all have spots. And therefore, you know, let's all use the same kind of camouflage or pretend no, that we... Say, I mean, I'm not saying two wrongs make a right, Arna. But that's, that's what you're saying. Arna, may I come in here? That's what you're saying. Siddharth Nath Singh is responding to you. No, I'm saying... I'm no. If, no, no, if, they, one, if somebody... One, one, no, no. Uh, Arna, one my sec. But give me one minute. Hearing what will no, you know, Mehta, uh, uh, one minute, I come back. Siddharth, I, come back. I will just make one short sentence and then you can respond. Siddharth, what I'm saying is that there is... Indeed, if the CD is genuine, I don't know whether it is genuine. I don't want to jump to conclusions. What the BJP is trying to achieve is to have the CD probed. This is their objective number one. And consequent to that, other, other, other things will follow. Now, may I tell you that you are opening up a Pandora's, a Pandora's box. box. So open it up. So open this it is up. something which will visit open you it very up. soon as a nemesis. No, no, one second, so one second. Please, please bear uh, this in mind. One, one second. There's one a limit to which you can go. No, no, one second. Vinod Sharma. Arnav, can I come Vinod, in Vinod, Vinod Sharma. No, I, I must Arnav, ask Vinod Sharma allow. this. One second. If you're opening a Pandora's box, if there are skeletons in the cupboard, open the Pandora's box, yeah. open the cupboards. Yeah. Don't, you know, that argument cannot, that this is an argument of self-preservation yeah, which of says that, you know, we'll all be exposed, shut it down, let's not talk about it. Uh, if, uh, uh, why can't that CD Arnav. be investigated? Oh, yeah, this is crazy. Absolutely. Arnav, 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 absolutely. First of all, you should not question me as if I am in the CD. No, no, I am not made, there in the CD. <laughs> you Arnav, made the argument. You made the argument. I am not there like, in the CD. No, I'm I have saying, a point Arnav, of view. Can I come in? The I have a point of view. Yeah, sure, you do. My, my question is, I have, I have a, a point, point of view on the Pandora's my box argument. My point of view is as follows. There are, that here, basically, it is between, as I agree, it is basically between two human beings. Now, is the it? lady has not complained. Is it? There is no complaint from the lady. The complainant has gone back on his original version. The court has Vin given Vin an injunction. I thought Vinod, now Vinod Sharma was BJP making a small being point a small and allowing me to party take the that law. It is, is trying to use the parliamentary Siddharth procedure Siddharth Nath Singh is responding. Siddharth Siddharth a political on. rival. Siddharth is rebutting. The question is that parliamentary procedures... Mr. Mr. The Mr. Question, Sharma... Yes, the question is that the parliamentary procedure... I, I think you are... Sought, you are and, and Siddharth is rebutting you. A kiss and of give death to me. on Mr. Mr. Singhvi's cheek in the name of... Pre uh, pre preventing uh, the privileges of parliament. Siddharth responding to you, sir. And also the ethics. Three uh, minutes on the debate, Siddharth What Mr. Mr. Vinod Sharma is saying, or not what Minister Vinod Sharma is saying, that there the lady didn't complain. Obviously, the lady was looking for a favor. If that be the true, what is being alleged in the CD, then she was looking for a favor. Now, uh, on his second argument, that the favor cannot be granted by Mr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, the, it raises, I agree, that the judge's appointment should not be so frivolous or it can be managed by a, a high-profile spokesperson and a parliament and a chairman of a uh, parliamentary committee. But there is a belief by the lady that they, she, he can influence. So there is somewhere which needs a more deeper investigation that why something like this was being even discussed. If what is being alleged in the CD is true. So therefore to say that we are going to brush aside whatever Mr. Singhvi has done. He has praised, he has pay, paid the price as being uh, said by Mr. Vinod Mehta. I think as a citizen I get, I am disturbed and anguished. No, what do because you? it is not an issue anymore that the politicians, there are good politicians, there are bad politicians like in all members of the society. Vinod Mehta. But those who are good politicians cannot live under this umbrella Siddharth, are you that the politicians by the are dirty, Sanjay their Joshi morality the is being questioned, the their Bhai ethics have been are questioned. You so I think the time Joshi has come party, that the if there Narendra are Modi, skeletons are you in anybody's closet, they need to be brought out and investigated properly. So I think it is time that we all allow a fair and a transparent investigation and Mr. Singhvi, if he is and I, I hope he is, that what he is saying is true, it is morphed and fabricated. He should come out in the parliament this tomorrow and Pandora's say, box please argument. the privilege, I refer the matter or to, through the speaker that the privilege committee can inquire and look into the CD. This Pandora's box argument is what worries me. 
and I'll take that question with all the viewers on News Hour tonight, wherever you're watching this. <laughs> Do you think this argument that we'll be opening up a Pandora's box is good enough reason not to seriously investigate the CD? A. B. Should it be forensically examined or should it be left between Mr. Singhvi and the person who was allegedly threatening and blackmailing him? And C. What position should the Congress party take? Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for that debate. The CD has certainly taken Singhvi down from two positions. How far should it go? Question is out. The jury is out on that one.